Once you have all the tools ready to create the report, now we need to start the report. The first thing you need to have to get the, to create the reports is requirement. Proper requirement is necessary to create any report. It's not just about Power BI. Anything, anything in the real world, you need to have proper requirement first. You need to ask the business user the requirement. For reports especially, when someone comes to you to create a report, the questions you need to ask the business user to create a report are, you need to, the first thing you need to do is, what do they actually want? from the report. On a high level, what do they need to analyze in the report? That's the first thing. Once you get that, you need to ask them what the source of the data is. If it's an Excel or if it's a database, if it's any database, SQL Server, Oracle or whatever, or if it's, a or if it's just a flat file or um, if the data is coming from some cloud, uh, you need to get the proper data source for the data. If you, if your business user didn't give this requirement to you in a written format you need to write an email or you need to create a document to describe this to you need to put this requirement in paper if it's not written anywhere these requirements can change and will definitely change so you need to put that in paper you need to write the requirement whatever the business user tells you you need to put that in paper write an email or, or create a word document whatever just write it down whatever you talk to the business user verbally just put it down in the paper just put it down in a notepad or word document or just an email and then send it to them send it to the business user to confirm if that's the right requirement people usually think this is not necessary but this is the most important step because once you create a report there's no way going back right you, once you submit the report, then it's done. Then if, if there's something that's missing in the report, then it's complete. It's on you. So you need to make sure you have the proper requirement. Get an approval from them and then you can start working on the report.